welcome James McAvoy, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? It's a good cup of water. It's a very nice cup of water, isn't it? Welcome to America, James. Thank You're you. from a part of the world I'm familiar with, aren't you? And from Glasgow, which in, is in Scotland. Yes, that's right. Yeah. They know. They love it here. What? Who does? The, the Scottishness. They love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's because they haven't been there enough. That's why. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What part of Glasgow are you from? I'm from Drumchapel. Drumchapel. It's a the, quaint area of the Glasgow. The drum. The drum. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And did you did you leave early and go and study drama elsewhere, or did you study in Glasgow? I know I studied in Glasgow. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't really go away to London or anything like that. So I I just I applied for one drama school in London and. Glasgow and I got in. Thank what what one was it? The Royal Scottish Academy? Royal Scottish Academy. My sister went there. No way. Yeah, yeah, she oh, went. Yeah, yeah. You never met her then? You uh, better not have. You better not have. <laughs> Maybe I'd met her yeah. and I'd erased her from my memory. I don't right, know. Right. You erased my sister from your memory? <laughs> How dare you? Know. I don't know. How yeah. did you uh, go on? You were a presenter of the Oscars last night. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. I was very nervous. Right. I was very nervous. But when I get nervous, I get quite introverted. So, it, you know, at the time when you have to get out there and say stuff, you become quite, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've had quite a lot of that on, here, on the show from time really? to time. Yeah, I think it's something many actors suffer it's from. It's not good yeah. when you go into the red carpet and go, hey, how's it going? You having a good time? What's it like to be at the Oscars for the first time? And you're yeah. like, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like that. And it's just did you else. like the red carpet? I, I did. Oh, you in did? In a weird way. It, right. was, it, it, was, it was, you know, you've seen it on TV for many, many years. Because right. where we watch it, we watch it at 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, at 4 o'clock in the morning. So it was nice to see it and not be falling asleep. Right. Um, so that was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I got there early as well because I didn't really want to get into the bum fight that starts about half an yes, hour later. Yes, no, and everybody gets... Ooh, you no, know, yeah. bum fight when everybody's kind of like, excuse me, can I yeah, just get yeah, through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you made a lot of new friends right there, pal. Right. Just right there. You made a lot of new friends. Okay. Hey, um, how about the last King of Scotland? Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you very much. What about, um, did you shoot it in, uh, you shot it in Uganda, right? We did. We shot it in Uganda uh, for two months. And I just, I came back from, to get to the Oscars, we flew from Uganda. And it took us 37 hours to get here. I know, it was incredible. Well, we had to drive for eight hours before we flew as well. So. Right, so, and you had a premiere of the movie in Uganda? Yeah, for what the president. What do the folks out there uh, think of it? Um, they like it, I think. I think yeah. they're glad that someone's telling a story about Idi Amin and yeah. about what happened in their country, that someone's actually documenting something for, for posterity. Um, I think they felt that there was, it, it was a complex um, representation of who he was and not just he was a bad guy. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they and, respected that. And did you have a nice time in Uganda? Did you, did you uh, like it out there? Did you like Africa? I had an incredible time in yeah. Uganda. I don't know any of the rest of Africa. Right. But what did you do? Did you get any time off? Did you go like, uh, you know, looking around and see any weird bugs and uh, lions and tigers and bears? I didn't really have to go looking around too much. Really? To they have all that? Dodgy, dodgy insects. Really? Big really hairy scary. spiders? Like, yeah. I spent the half time looking like I had physical Tourette's. It's like, that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. just weird. <laughs> do you know, do you know, you, it doesn't bother you then? You don't get... Uh, what? Do you, you don't... Do you get... Are you I squeamish get, about the... I'm not squeamish. Because there's I just no bugs like in Scotland. There's a couple of snakes and that's it. I think. Yeah. And they're in Edinburgh Zoo, really. Yeah, we've got yeah. things called midges that are midges, just mildly yeah. annoying. They're not yeah. really dangerous. I, 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 they don't freak me out. It's just when they seem to always go for your ears. Yeah. I don't know. That's you know. The only, that's, there's other parts of you that are going yeah. for it. You just can't hear them. And if that's you went the for thing. other parts of it, my body, I'd maybe be happy about it. No, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be happy about it. My wife goes for my ears, it's fine. But yeah. if a moth is going for my well, ears... That's what, she may be going to other parts of your body and you can't... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She'd be very offended if yeah, I went, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, No, you don't want to do it. They don't, they don't like it when you do that. No. No, listen, tell me quickly about the new movie, Starter for Ten. What's this about? Starter for Ten is set in the 80s. It's set in uh, Britain. It's about a young blue-collar kid uh, who goes to university and fulfills his dream of satisfying the, 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 the hopes of his dead father by joining the university challenge team. And the university challenge team is uh, well, the University Challenge is a game show that we have in, in Britain, which is very much like... It was like presented by a guy called Bamber Gascoigne. That there's was his a name. name. Yeah, there's yeah. a name. Actually, who calls their kid Bamber? 
Oh, no, yeah. there'll be 25 emails from... My name's Bob, I know, you're yeah. it! Yeah. You're, that's yeah. it, you're over yeah. in this town. How do you? That's it's right, good. there's a lot of very influential Bambers in LA. High tail it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it, it's kind of like a show that's very much like College Bowl. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. And uh, so it's kind of like a sports movie, but for geeky kids. Yeah. They'll do great. Listen, yeah. we're completely out of time. Come back and see us anytime. James Thank McAvoy, everybody. everybody. We'll be right back. Lovely, isn't yes, it? Yes, because yeah. on Two and a Half Men, we're all about dignity. Yeah. <laughs> you get to say stuff on Two and a Half Men I can't say here. What's the deal with that? I know, and sometimes you guys have the same censor we have. Yeah, no, and, and, and I, you're on at 8 o'clock, and I'm on at half past 3 in the morning, and I can't say the stuff <laughs> that you say. Um, I don't know, you know, uh, Charlie Sheen gets by on a lot of charm. And uh, That's we, just, what it is, we is employ it? that yeah. industrial strength charm. So what am I, chopped liver? Come on! I'm, charm I'm charming your butt! <laughs> no, you're very charming. Well, Actually, you're, uh, James McAvoy is uh, another guest. Yeah, he's Wonderful actor. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he also is Scotsman. Yes. Am I right? So yeah. the two of you, uh, your Scottish charm will create a sort of Scottish charm black hole. It's a vortex of charm. A, a vortex of yeah. Scottish charm. I'm worried. I'm worried about you people. You're not ready for it. Yeah. What happens? <laughs> Clothes will be swooped off yeah. and whirled <laughs> into this vortex of charming Scottish people. Yes. But James McAvoy, everybody. Fine, we don't stand. It's good to see you, James. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Thanks it's always having... nice to have a genuine American on the show. Right? Well, that's what I always say. Not bad. That's Thanks. a bit. Uh, uh, it's a bit uh, James uh, Earl Jones. I, I, I've no, been, I've, um, been, I've been trying to kind of toy with with a kind of Cary Grant type thing at the moment, which has been going a lot, and trying to introduce pole dancers at the same time at the moment. Pole dancers. Yeah, we just got back from Vegas and it got the whole thing going. So we've got this thing. Of wait, trying, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Would you? You mean it got the whole thing going? What if Cary where Grant... Were, no, where were you in Las Vegas that got the whole thing going? In bed at about half past ten really? watching a film. You went in the strippy clubs then? No, don't do Gentlemen, that. Gentlemen, please welcome Tiffany. None of that? I can't do that. I get, I would get too intimidated. I, I get shy. Actually, yeah, totally. Know, and, funny, you yeah. know, sometimes if I'm not working out and stuff, I get bigger boobs than the women. So, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, so that's been that's been what I've been doing. Yeah, you've been. Uh, you must be. You've been going around atonement and everywhere. This because the movie is yeah. huge. Did you win a Golden Globe? Uh, the film got best film and right. we got best score as well. Well, yeah, I mean that that'll work against you in the the, the bigger scheme of things. But yes. even then, you you'll still get the Oscar, I think. Oh, Are you very God. excited? Oh yes, yes. The film's going to win Oscars and all sorts. It's for the, and you have sex with Kira Knightley in this film. Not for real though. <laughs> oh, star. <laughs> Yeah, no, not for you don't actually have real sex. <laughs> um, some, some of the movies that these people watch, they do actually have. It, it could actually be debatable that I've ever had real sex. Really? But, yeah, yeah, but you'd need to, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes. What would you classify as real sex? Would you like me to show you? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what that was? Yeah. That was a Scottish vacuum of charm. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was... It was a great swirling vortex. I was actually scared to touch you as we came in because yeah, it's yeah. going to be like two positives cancelling each right, other out. That's right. And there'd be a huge, like, implosion of the time continuum. And what they, what they don't understand is that everyone in Scotland is that charming. I know. We are the least charming people in Scotland. We were thrown out. We were thrown out for not being charming enough. When they threw me out, they said, tell that Craig Ferguson never to come back. Don't, uh, tell him never <laughs> come back you don't come back you're not charming enough and by the way your hair looks fabulous that's the way yeah. that's what they say they said tell that craig Far ferguson that he's changed yeah, yeah craig craig that's what they call me here craig. That, we say craig and you guys say craig yeah, it's so weird it's sometimes like you say tune and they say tune yeah. i know do you know when you said earlier you were you were sitting there and you said you know this tune is the new tune and then you checked yourself and you said in Scotland we'd say tune I wondered if you were worried that I was sitting back there going he doesn't say that he shouldn't say that he's so changed <laughs> probably well, not I know I, I was I'm not that no I, I'm, I'm not I, that important no you are I am you are, yeah, absolutely Thanks, yeah and man. I thought because you go back and tell everyone in Scotland I'm saying tune I, mean, I know <laughs> and then we'd all be like 
ha, 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 He's too nice. He's too nice. Ah, there was a, you know the Daily Record in Glasgow? Yes. Right. It's the, it's the kind of, it's a, a tabloid uh, paper in, in Scotland. And they put in their, uh, in their newspaper that I had lost my accent. Really? Yeah, I'd lost my accent and I'd, I was now speaking in an American accent, <laughs> which don't. I told everyone in America and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't understand what you said. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I said to the lady who did my hair, Jen, yeah. uh, just a moment ago, I said, can you understand what I say all the time? She said, no, not all the time. I said, right. can you understand what Craig says all the time? She says, more than you, but not all the time. Yeah. I don't think you have. I, well, I sometimes, I think what happens is when, when you stay in any place long enough, you adopt a little bit of the accent. Like, if I'm in Texas, I start saying, y'all, you know. Do you, really? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. What happens when you go to Jamaica? I smoke a lot of reefer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yes, yes. That's why I haven't been to Jamaica in some time. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. What happens when you go to Jamaica? Um, I, oh, I burn really badly and come sort oh, of the colour you. of your tie. Oh, right, the sunburn. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to be careful here with the sunburn. Why? Even, even in January you could get sunburned. Because you got lambasted by the press? No, no, sunburn. Oh, sunburn? Yeah, you know sunburn. The sun on your Scottish pale skin. We don't have sun in Scotland, you see. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what does what does your wife make of it when you have sex with Kira Knightley in a movie? Not really. Um, uh, I think she gets it. She's an actress as well. Oh, so well, we, and and we, my wife and I met doing a sex scene in a TV really? show. Really? So, Did you? Yeah. And so that's kind of. Did get you say when you were like pretending to have sex with her? Hey, would you like to go out tonight? Stuff like that. Um, get some of this for real. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish I was that cool. Uh, that's right. I made a bit of an idiot of myself, but I will not ever go into that. All right. I think that's, that's only fair. I yeah. think keep your dignity at all times. James, to. it's lovely to see you. Thank I you can't very much. tell you how excited and thrilled I am for you. You're doing Thanks so well. Uh, more power to you and much more of this and win the Oscar and on to more and more and more. Thanks, James man. McAvoy, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome the wonderful James McAvoy, everybody. How are you, well. Jamesy? Do they call you Jamesy in Scotland still? Um, they do call me Jamesy. Jamesy. In fact, my, my little cousin Gary, if he ever watches this, calls me Jamesy Boy. Jamesy uh, Boy. And the whole Cairns part of the family calls me Jamesy Boy, actually. Right. Jamesy well, that's, Boy. That's it came from Jamesy Boy Cotter for, for your absey. Rapsy Nesbitt, yes, which indeed. is a, a show that's very popular in Scotland that yes. no one in America is going to know what we're talking about. No, no, no. There is a world outside. Have you ever worn giant Elizabethan trousers? I have, actually. Have you? Yes, I have. It's always quite exciting when you do, like, an Elizabethan thing, because you go, God, I'm going to get to wear lots of frilly costumes and, and things. And giant trousers. And then yeah. they get to the trousers, and you're like, I could have 15 poos in this, and nobody yeah. would know. <laughs> nobody would ever, ever know. But your, your, your poos can't be that big, though, surely. <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen the food I eat? It's no, kind of, I, I haven't. Nor do I want to. Um, Not second this, time. This though. film looks fantastic, though. This one, Thank there's you. no, I mean, like regular trousers, but other than that, this is fantastic. Unfortunately, they were regular. They're yeah. quite tight fitting as well. Nah, Lord, I think the ladies will enjoy that, though. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't hope so, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, God, Morgan Freeman, does he wear uh, tight trousers in the movie? He's got a very good bum. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> So, his trousers might not be so tight-fitting. Right. Uh, or they might not be... There's actually a fair bit of room in them, but his bum fills them out, because it's, it's a nice bum. It's a, you know what his bum is? A dignified bum. He's got yeah. a bum. Think about Morgan Princely Freeman. Bum. Morgan Freeman, he's, the, I think, maybe the only actor who exists like this. If he's in the movie, it's a better movie. Even if yeah, the movie's no, crap. Totally. If Morgan Freeman's in it, you go, well, it's got to be good. Morgan Freeman's in it, come on. Well, my experience yeah. in this film was, like, you'd get the script, and you go, oh, God, as an actor, you go, this line's not right. Mm, maybe I should change it. Maybe I should do this. Right. Maybe I'll talk to the director. What about this and swapping that round? Right. And he comes in, looks at the script, and goes, <clears throat> and just makes it perfect. Yeah, no, he He's does. He's kind of the voice of God, and you're yeah, standing yeah. on that. Andy Dufresne. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love him. Yeah. How that. did you do that? Yeah. Andy Dufresne. <laughs> <laughs> you thought Morgan Freeman had come in there from it. Surprise, it's Morgan Freeman. It wasn't. It was just say, me doing it. Say tall drink of water. Tall drink of water. As Morgan Freeman, though. <laughs> tall drink of water. <laughs> That might have been more James Earl Jones, though. Uh, no, yeah. yeah. No. This is CNN. 
Yeah. James Earl Jones was never better than when he had long hair and Conan the Barbarian. Oh, you know, I like, you know what I liked uh, James Earl Jones in Field of Dreams? If you build it, they will come. Yeah, and ah. he was playing the sportscaster guy that eventually goes into the corn. Uh, the coolest, yeah, 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 yeah. He was a child of the corn. He was children of the corn. I don't think he was in that. All right, tell me about anyway, the, uh, <laughs> Tell me about this movie with the Angelina Jolie and the and the Morgan Freeman. Is it you? Are you an action star now? That's very exciting to me. I'm kind of like an, a kind of clinically depressed action star in it. I suppose. Right. Uh, thanks for calling me an action star, by the way. That was All very right. nice of you. Well, it's um, like porn star. There's no like porn actors. It's just like you know. It's like, act, there's no action know. actors. You're an action star, you're a porn star. It's that kind of a thing. I suppose so. Is that like if you're in a porn film, there are no small porn actors, there's only Do small, small porn, porn parts? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Aha! <laughs> um, uh -huh. uh -huh. I see you have worn uh -huh. the giant trousers. Hey. Yeah, da, 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 da. We've all had to get here somehow. Yeah. Um, uh, the film, what should I tell you? Uh, it's about a really kind of normal guy who's got total postmodern angst and depression written all over him right. and uh, and he can't even care about the fact that his girlfriend is sleeping with his best friend and he can't care about his life until someone threatens his life and then he realises how important it is to him and he gets trained as an assassin and he gets to chase the guy who's chasing now, him. Now how does he get trained as an assassin? Does someone go up and say, you look depressed, let's teach you how to kill? Hey kid, <laughs> I know what's wrong with you, yeah. you need to awaken the instinct to murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kind of. Angelina Jolie comes along and beats seven colours of, of who out of him and um, do you get beaten up by her in this movie i spend 90 percent in this film having my teeth smashed in by angelina Jolie. i would spend 90 percent of all the money i have to have my teeth smashed in by angelina Jolie. it costs you about that yeah. um she said uh, yeah no i spend a lot of the time being beaten up by angelina she enjoys it i think though i mean oh, she enjoys yeah. it's written all stuff. over her it's yeah. written all over her she likes yeah. all the kind of violent stuff yeah yeah, but, uh, yeah. and i enjoy getting beaten up well just smacked a little bit you know you oh know. angelina i've been naughty yeah, yeah that kind of thing right <laughs> Right. And, and the other thing as well is the character wears knuckle dusters as well. Her, well your character? Her character does, that's yeah. that's the things on the, the yeah, hand. Yeah, like we, brass knuckles. Do you remember you? that from... Guys used to wear that in Glasgow a lot. Well, I yeah. never... It was kind of like, you know, there would always be a kid in school who would be fabled to have knuckle dusters. Knuckle dusters. You know what I mean? You'd be right, like, yeah, oh, yeah. don't go near him, Michael Doran. He'll have my knuckle dusters. Yeah, that was, was uh, Stephen Campbell. Stephen Campbell? Yeah, yeah, knuckle dusters. You ever seen him since? No. I think he's uh, in jail. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Still got the knuckle dusters though. Okay. Needs yeah. them now. Needs yeah. them now. Anyway. No, no, that's it. So have you have you moved over here yet or are you still back? You're still in London? I've still you know, in my entire career I've made two weeks of a film here. Um so there's uh, They if don't I moved, do it yeah. much here now, do they? No, it's it not... seems to be very strange. So uh, if I moved out here I'd just be flying back to Europe all the time. So is that is that where you make the, the the films in Europe? Yeah, even this film, which is all set in Chicago, I made in the Czech Republic. For no, four wait, months that doesn't then... sound right to me. It's set in Chicago and they, they they make it in the Czech Republic? The weird thing is when they get a Czech uh, actor in to do like a couple of lines and he's going, Hey man, how's it going by the way? Yeah. Trying to do like <laughs> Hi, you guys want some Coca-Cola? Yeah, uh, actually, that was just my American accent. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but uh, Your American accent is good. Though, oh, isn't thank it? you. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it sounds American to me, but of course. <laughs> yeah. I spent a long time just like hanging on the words of the few Americans who were in the crew, just going. That's interesting. Could you say that again? Right. And yeah, they yeah. must have thought they must have thought whatever they were saying was really sexy or interesting or something like that. But actually, I was just stealing their accent. Well, that's all right. That's what the show business is all about. Theft. Stealing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, pretty much. I, when I was making films, I always thought that the wardrobe ladies found me desperately attractive. I, you know, I because, know why. Because they always, they look at you and they're always looking you up and down, and, and you realise yeah. later on they're checking to make sure that you've got the right pants on for the I scene. But I thought thing. they were always going like, "Oh, he's so hot," and they're yeah. not. They're going, "Oh, he's right. He's wearing the blue pants. Good." I find uh. it with the makeup ladies more than the, the wardrobe ladies, and it took me a couple of years in my career for the same thing because they'd kind of they'd be looking at the makeup around your eyes to see if you're looking tired or whatever. Right. So they'd look you what you think is right in the eye, and they'd be like, mm. <laughs> You're like, no, yeah, yeah so yeah. I've just basically told your story again. I know. That worked. <laughs> Shall I do it again? Yeah, help yourself. Basically, I find it's really with the makeup ladies, uh, and uh, <laughs> they, they, they look you in the eye. Anyway, yeah. No, you should do that, because a lot of people who watch this show are high, and if you tell, yes. the, you tell the, the story again, they'll be like, wow. Yeah. It's, called, it's the Scared Straight program. <laughs> Elizabethan trousers. Elizabethan you know, like 15 now you should, now get, Let's get you into a pair of these Elizabethan trousers. What's the next film? Is it going to be uh, like Narnia with Elizabeth? Oh, you wore half a horse in the I'm, Narnia film. I did wear half, half a horse. A horse. You were, they weren't just trousers, it was half a horse. That was it. You know, and they say, how did you do it? Was it CGI? You go, no, we just chopped the it horse was, in It was half, a horse, I... horse shaped pants. I need, I need a pair of pants that, that, like that. 
I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I would love... Wouldn't it be great to... Well, you know, but the feeling of just walking around like the, a horse. <laughs> God, I'd pay... I'd give the, the other 10% of my cash that I hadn't spent on Angelina Jolie <laughs> on the horse trousers. I was going to say something really rude. Yeah, I know, I know you are. I know. I'm sitting there kind of contemplating, shall I do it? Shall I do it? No. I'm no, well, you can if you want, but uh, we'll just have to cut it out. Shall I do it? If you want. I've heard you know what it feels like to walk around like a horse. Hey!